healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome, church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. All right, good afternoon, everybody. I have with me Minister Marlena Lewis of United We Stand Ministries. Uh, she's an author. She's a preacher. Uh, she's a veteran. She's a, a whole lot. And uh, I'm going to allow her to talk and tell us uh, about herself as well, so, since I'm introducing her to y'all. So I'm um, going to allow her to tell her, uh, tell us about herself. You have the floor. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Trey, uh, for this opportunity. Um, again, uh, my name is Minister Marlena Lewis. Uh, most of you have seen me um, several Sundays now, thanks to Pastor Trey for uh, being on his broadcast program on Sundays. But yeah, my story is, is no different from a lot of other stories you hear um, around the world, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But um, I'm gonna just keep it very brief. Um, I was retired from the military um, after serving um, about 16 years. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Um, I was at the, at the top of the ranks, uh, living a, a, a beautiful life, my family, and all of a sudden I get the news that, you know, pretty much changed my life forever. And, you know, like many of us, we, you know, sometimes we don't get pushed in what God wants us to do until he begins to attack us, whether in our, in our uh, bodies or, or put us, to put us on where the, his direction that he wanted me to go. Um, I grew up in the church. My family, my father was a deacon up until his death last year. And uh, I came from a Christian background, but this was something that uh, I had never experienced. I hadn't had any prior um, medical experiences or anything. So this was all very new to me. And I was just like um, many of us that when we hear the news from the doctor of a bad report, I begin to just cry and just, just you know, um, I had to get out of the military because my body had began to kind of shut down a little bit between the, the fatigue and the weakness and everything. Um, so um, it was, it was a just, it had changed everything, everything that I wanted to do to to retire and, and to to be bigger and stuff in the military as opposed to when I when I had to get out. So it changed my life, and I, I went through a stage of depression uh, for probably about six months. And um, in that stage of depression, the Lord was revealing to me, you know, his plans for me and, and was letting me know um, that all was not lost. And so in that, in that time period, he spoke to me about becoming an author. And I wrote my first book, or well, my only book. I wrote some excerpts and stuff, but, uh, which was entitled Don't Give Up. It is just, um, it is just a small testimony of what I've been going through. Um, and it just captures what I was going through, how the Lord uh, kind of brought me out of it. So I just wanted to introduce myself and encourage people that you're going through something and you don't think that, you know, um, that you have a, a, a opportunity to yeah. shine in the midst of our storm, that God always has a ram in the bush. And so I began to write, don't give up which is out there on Amazon. And uh, we're going to do a flyer later, letting you guys know about the book. It is just a mini testimony. And it talks about uh, my diagnosis of Lyme disease. And then after about uh, six or seven months to a year uh, later, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and all type of chronic pain. So it was just a, for since 2009 up until now, that has been my diagnosis. And I, you know, you pray for our healing, we pray for this to all go away and God don't answer us sometimes when we want him to. But when he does answer, I believe that my breakthrough will come at a time that he has allowed it to come. But I have never let it get me down. I've never let it get me down. Um, after that and after I wrote my first book and it was published, 
um, I began uh, during the pandemic to start some to encourage others. And I started something called Monday Morning Motivation because we were in this pandemic and people were crying. They had lost loved ones. And I saw the hurt and pain. And I said, you know what, Lord, I can relate to that. I can relate to that because I had hurt. I had pain. I had depression. I thought all was lost. My whole career was lost. And I began to, to, seek Lord of, to seek the Lord of what he wanted me to do and what he had me to do in the midst of this crisis. And he told me to start a, a form of communication, just start it on Facebook and just get on there with a, a 20, 30 minute word and encourage people that he is still in the midst of the pandemic. He is still in the midst of the storm. And I began to do something that was just so simple on Monday mornings. I, I want to say I started that in 2019, 2020, around that time frame. And I was just doing it on Facebook Live every Monday morning about 8 o'clock and just sending out our courage of whatever the Lord put on my heart. And the people loved it. They loved it. They loved it. They were so grateful for the encouragement. And um, it, I then began to take it and turn the, the, the Monday motivation into a ministry. Uh, United We Stay in Ministries, because at that time that we were going on in the pandemic, we were so divided. And I was like, Lord, I need a name that was going to, you know, bring us together. And he that's the name he gave me, United We Stay in. And that's how my ministry has come about today. Um, I, it's, it's been wonderful. I love it. Um, I know God got something great for me. And I and I just I am so appreciative that what he's doing in my life. Yes. She's the earliest, the earliest like on on Sunday. Cause I was like, Lord, this is gonna be a challenge to get up. Cause I don't get up to preach myself <laughs> <to> about 12. <laughs> when I but y'all, it, it became easier as it I went along. I was like, Yeah. And um everybody on here loves her and love to see her go forth and preach. She has her own style. She not, don't try to be anybody else but Marlena. And I I love it. And I thank God for her. And she's one of my uh, my favorite people to work with because a lot of these people be giving me a hard time, to be honest. They be giving me a hard time. Pastor, try to make this out by. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's only me. I'm tired. <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, God has been pushing her and getting her to the place. I got, uh, we, Worked on a flyer on yesterday, so that's gonna be out, and y'all should see that a little mini thing so y'all can see. Um, that you can get her book. Uh, what, what's the name of the book again? What's what is it? The book is called Don't Give Up, and Don't it's by my name, Marlena Lewis. Marlena it's Lewis. on Amazon, a lot it's of the uh, uh, social sites, social media sites, and everything. You can just follow me on my page. I uh, also all the Monday motivations. It's mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel. So yeah. um, please check out my Facebook page and all the information is on my Facebook page. But the uh, Monday motivations, I want to say we I'm up to about 50 messages between that and our Sunday morning services. Come on here. It, yes, 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 sir. We are on, um, on YouTube. So uh, please just follow me. Subscribe to the channel as I am new. And uh, just want to be a blessing to somebody. Want God to be a blessing. And you know what? I will definitely return the plate favor and, and subscribe to your channel. And, you know, we just have to support and help each other. Yes. That's what it's all about. Support and helping each other and making sure we are doing the will of God. I'm actually going to put the links up while we are on here. So they'll be in the comment section. So they'll be pinned. So y'all can actually, y'all have no excuse not to <laughs> after I, after I get it after I get it up so and I'm I'm friendly I'm I'm approachable uh, you can you can send me a message through Facebook or if you have any questions about Lyme disease um, and what you know what's got me through it or anything any questions you may have I'm very friendly and I'm very approachable. But I just wanted to come on here because I've, I've been on, like I said, uh, several Sundays and, and officially introduced myself of who I am and um, and how I, I got started and everything. Because you never know, somebody may be following in this same path and the same footsteps mm -hmm. and they don't know which way to go. 
And you, you do have to crawl before you can walk. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm crawling, but I told the Lord, as long as he allow me to just get on my knees, I will crawl. I yeah. don't have no problem with crawling. As long as I can get up every day in the morning, seek, he, seek the kingdom first, seek him first in all things that I do not mind crawling. So I just want you to know, no matter what you are going through today, no matter what it is that you, that you, you feel like it's a setback, Sometimes yeah. our setback is always a set up. Don't worry about the setback. It's always going to be a setup. We don't know what God is up to, but he was he's always up to something in our lives. So God bless each and every one of you. And I thank, thank Pastor Trey again for this opportunity. But I yeah. thought it was just fitting for me to just come on, introduce myself, and let you all know who I am and what I actually stand for and how I actually got started. And there's a small word I have to say to all 17 of you are viewing. There is about 16 of the 17 that have the gift of an author in you. And truly, there's a story that you have to tell, but you are scared. You're afraid to step out on that because you're like, oh, what? how can I do it? And I think it might be too difficult. No, you can be an author. You can be an author. You can get a book published. You can. There's somebody that actually wants to read your life story. And some of y'all don't have to necessarily get a paper one. You can get an audio book established. And an audio book. And people will sit there and listen to your story. So there's some people that are afraid to step out on faith. And I'm here to tell you, step out on faith, start that book. And some of y'all got ministry in you and you waiting for years and years and afraid to step out on faith because you're like, oh, I don't need to be on here. There's enough people online already. They they got ministries or whatever. So uh, it ain't no space for me. The devil is a lie. There's room for you. There Amen. is room for you. So I just stopped by to put that word in you that just like Minister Marlena Lewis started United We Stay as ministry, there's somebody else that got a nonprofit organization in them. So it's time to go forth and do Amen. what the Lord told you to do. Amen. Y'all always complain about the people that ain't doing what they got to do. Y'all always, I, I, I mean, literally at, at complaining about what folks ain't doing and got them put something down in you that you can discern what's going on with them, yet you won't move. And when God is calling you to do the same thing, but to do it the right way. Amen. Am I talking Amen. to somebody today? Yes. And yes. I literally was sitting up here sick today and I wasn't going to do nothing today. And then, but God just began to speak to me and say, there's time for somebody to go. It's Amen. time for somebody to go and do the will of the Father. Amen. Amen. And, you know, it's not hard to do it. Um, it's very easy. You know, just put your it's just putting your thoughts on paper. And mm -hmm. you got those thoughts on paper. You I, I, too many publishing companies will turn you down. And you also have self-published them too. So it's I, I agree with Pastor Trey. Get out there. You, your story, you, you think that your story is just meant for you to have your story, but your story is meant for somebody else to learn and to grow with it. Your story is just not meant for you. It's meant for God to get the glory. You know, I, I meet so many people and say, well, I went through this, I went through that. I'm like, share it. Tell that story to somebody, you know, and they're so, they just think or whether they're scared or whether they're embarrassed or whatever it is that they don't have the right to tell your story. God said, you do have the right to tell your story because you don't know who's going to get delivered in your story. So you right. have the right to tell the story because he gave you the story. So how can he give you something and you he don't want you to share? So please be encouraged today to do what Pastor Trey say, step out on faith, get that book written, share your story with somebody. Because if you've been through anything and you're still living here today to tell it, God wants you to tell it. He right. wants you to tell it because somebody may be waiting on your story for their own breakthrough. Yes. They may be waiting on your story. So I give God praise and thanks in all things for my story, because I never thought in a million years that I would have been, had Lyme disease. You know, I never thought in a million years that I would have had to just put a halt on my military career and everything just changed my life forever. So you just don't know what, your, what God got planned for you to do. But what he has planned for you to do is up to you to do. My God, the Lord says concerning you, Minister Marlena Lewis, that he says expansion 
and he says, you, I'm Jesus. about to grow thank you, everything. Jesus. And thank I'm you, about Jesus. to I'm about to feel Ooh, that. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Of thank my you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, for you. And it's going to yes, be like you ain't you, missing Jesus. nothing. It's going to be you, like Jesus. you're not missing a thing. He said, I'm going to send people to Woo. donate to you. I'm going to send thank people. You, Glory Woo. to God. Thank Woo. you, Lord Jesus. Woo. I'm about to send people to feel the, feel the bond. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Jesus. Woo. God get the glory. God get the glory. God get the glory for the things he has done. So it's Thank like you, so you never lost anything. Woo. It's like you never lost Woo. anything. Yes, yes. Yeah, I need somebody to receive that for their self too. Yes. It's going to be like receive I never lost. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's nothing too hard for God. Jesus. There's nothing too hard for God. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged today. Woo, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Woo, you get the glory of it all. Woo, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Never lost. Glory to your name. Glory to your Never name. Never lost it. Woo. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. If I'm not mistaken, Woo. that's my, my uh, you, apostles, chief apostle, my, my chief apostle. One of the Ooh. chief apostles, Heather, uh, Apostle Heather Collins, and I, I, cause I saw the picture, I said, "Uh, uh-uh, they're my apostles right there." <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was my people. <laughs> I know my people when I see them, <laughs> and I'm just so excited that she is on here at this time and seeing what I do sometimes. Glory be unto God. I, Thank listen, you, Jesus. Thank listen, you I'm so excited. much. Thank you I'm so excited, much. Y'all. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you for coming on here, Minister Marlene. Lewis. Oh, thank you for this God opportunity. You. Thank you God so much. You. I'm so thank glad you so that much. you chose me to use for promotional purposes. You didn't even know you're going to end up getting the word, but that's just me. I really flow in what God is telling me at that time. And it's going to be like you never lost anything. And yep, that is, sir. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Sending love and proud of you. Woo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You. God bless you. I love God you bless so each and every one of you. Again, reach out to me. Follow me. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, like Trey said. Uh, we're going to send a flyer out so you won't forget. And uh, hopefully see you more on Sundays. It may Sometimes I switch up between uh, streaming with Trey and Facebook, my own Facebook page. So, but yeah, but you will definitely see more of me um, on pay, and praise your way, God, if God's will. So I thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Trey, for this opportunity. So I got to get to work, y'all. And she had to get <laughs> to what she got to do. We love you all. God bless you. Y'all share this live with somebody so she could get her testimony out to as many people as possible. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all later. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I have with me Minister Marlena Lewis of United We Stand Ministries. Uh, she's an author. She's a preacher. Uh, she's a veteran. She's a, a whole lot. And uh, I'm going to allow her to talk and tell us uh, about herself as well. So since I'm introducing her to y'all. So I'm um, going we'll to allow her to tell her, uh, tell us about herself. You have the floor. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Trey, uh, for this opportunity. Um, again, uh, my name is Minister Marlena Lewis. Uh, most of you have seen me um, several Sundays now, thanks to Pastor Trey for um, being on his broadcast program on Sundays. But yeah, my story is, is no different from a lot of other stories you hear um, around the world, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But um, I'm gonna just keep it very brief. Um, I was retired from the military um, after serving um, about 16 years I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Um, I was at the, at the top of the ranks, uh, living a, a, a beautiful life, my family, and all of a sudden I get the news that you know pretty much changed my life forever. And you know, like many of us, we you know sometimes we don't get pushed in what God wants us to do until He begins to tag us, whether in our in our uh, bodies or or put us, to put us on where the, His direction that He wanted me to go. Um, I grew up in the church. My family, my father was a deacon up until his death last year. 
And I, I came from a Christian background, but this was something that uh, I had never experienced. I hadn't had any prior um, medical experiences or anything. So this was all very new to me. And I was just like um, many of us that when we hear the news from the doctor of a bad report, I begin to just cry and just, just you know, um, I had to get out of the military because my body had began to kind of shut down a little bit, began to get the fatigue and the weakness and everything. Um, so um, it was, it was a just, it had changed everything, everything that I wanted to do to to retire and, and to to be bigger and stuff in the military as opposed to when I when I had to get out. So it changed my life, and I, I went through a stage of depression uh, for probably about six months. And um, in that stage of depression, the Lord was revealing to me, you know, his plans for me and, and was letting me know um, that all was not lost. And so in that, in that time period, he spoke to me about becoming an author. And I wrote my first book, or my only book. I wrote some excerpts and stuff, but, uh, which was entitled Don't Give Up. It is, just, um, it is just a small testimony of what I've been going through. Um, and it just captures what I was going through, how the Lord uh, kind of brought me out of it. So I just wanted to introduce myself and encourage people that you're going through something and you don't think that, you know, um, that you have a, a, a opportunity to yeah. shine in the midst of our storm, that God always has a ram in the bush. And so I began to write, don't give up which is out there on Amazon. And uh, we're gonna do a flyer later, letting you guys know about the book. It is just a mini testimony. And it talks about uh, my diagnosis of Lyme disease. And then after about uh, six or seven months to a year uh, later, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and all type of chronic pain. So it was just a, for since 2009 up until now, that has been my diagnosis. And I, you know, you pray for our healing, we pray for this to all go away. And God don't answer us sometimes when we want him to. But when he does answer, I believe that my breakthrough will come at a time that he has allowed it to come. But I have never let it get me down. I've never let it get me down. Um, after that and after I wrote my first book and it was published, um, I began uh, during the pandemic to start some to encourage others. And I started something called Monday Morning Motivation because we were in this pandemic and people were crying, they had lost loved ones, and I saw the hurt and pain, and I said, you know what, Lord, I can relate to that. I can relate to that because I had hurt, I had pain, I had depression, I thought all was lost, my whole career was lost. And I began to, to, seek, Lord of, to seek the Lord of what he wanted me to do and what he had me to do in the midst of this crisis. And he told me to start a, a form of communication, just start it on Facebook and just get on there with a, a 20, 30 minute word and encourage people that he is still in the midst of the pandemic. He is still in the midst of the storm. And I began to do something that was just so simple on Monday mornings. I, I wanna say I started that in 2019, 2020, around that time frame, And I was just doing it on Facebook Live every Monday morning about eight o'clock and just sending out encouragement, whatever the Lord put on my heart. And the people loved it. They loved it. They loved it. They were so grateful for the encouragement. And um, it, I then began to take it and turn the, the, the money motivation into a ministry. Uh, United We Stay in Ministries, because at that time that we were going on in the pandemic, we were so divided. And I was like, Lord, I need a name that was going to, you know, bring us together. And he, that's the name he gave me, United We Stand. And that's how my ministry has come about today. Um, I, it's just been wonderful. I love it. Um, I know God got something great for me. And I, and I just I am so appreciative that what he's doing in my life. Yes. She's the earliest, the earliest like on, on Sunday. Because I was like, Lord, this is going to be a challenge to get out. Because I don't <laughs> get up to preach myself <laughs> about 12. <laughs> but y'all it, it became easier as it I went along and I was like yeah and um everybody on here loves her and love to see her go forth and preach she has her own style she not don't try to be anybody else but Marlena and I I love it and I thank God for her and she's one of my uh my favorite people to work with because of 
A lot of these people be giving me a hard time, to be honest. They be giving me a hard time. Pastor Trey, I need this out by. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's only me. I'm tired. <laughs> but nonetheless, nonetheless, God has been pushing her and getting her to the place. I got, uh, we worked on a flyer on yesterday, so that's going to be out. Y'all should see that a little mini thing so y'all can see. Um, that you could get her book. Uh, what, what's the name of the book again? What's, what is it? The book is called Don't Give Up. And Don't it's by up. my name, Marlena Lewis. Marlena it's Lewis. on Amazon. A lot it's of the uh, uh, social sites, social media sites and everything. You can just follow me on my page. I also, all the Monday motivations is mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel. So mm -hmm. um, please check out my Facebook page and all the information is on my Facebook page, but the uh, Monday motivations. I want to say we I'm up to about 50 messages between that and our Sunday morning services. Come on here. It, yes, 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 sir. We are on um, on YouTube. So uh, please just follow me, subscribe to the channel as I am new and uh, just want to be a blessing to somebody, want God to be a blessing. And you know what? I will definitely return the plate favor and, and subscribe to your channel. And, you know, we just have to support and help each other. Yes. That's what it's all about, support and helping each other and making sure we are doing the will of God. I'm actually going to put the links up while we are on here. So they'll be in the comment section. So they'll be pinned. So y'all can actually, y'all have no excuse not to. <laughs> After I... <laughs> After I get it, after I get it up, so. And I'm I'm friendly. I'm I'm approachable. Uh, you can you can send me a message through Facebook uh, if you have any questions about Lyme disease um, and what you know what's got me through it or anything. Any questions you may have, I'm very friendly and I'm very approachable. But I just wanted to come on here because I've I've been on like I said uh, several Sundays and officially introduce myself of who I am. And um and how I I got started and everything because you never know somebody may be following in this same path and the same footsteps mm -hmm. and they don't know which way to go and you you do have to crawl before you can walk and that's what I'm doing now I'm crawling but I told the Lord as long as He allow me to just get on my knees I will crawl I yeah. don't have no problem with crawling as long as I can get up every day in the morning seek He seek the kingdom first seek Him first in all things that I do not mind crawling. So I just want you to know, no matter what you are going through today, no matter what it is that you that you, you feel like it's a setback, sometimes yeah. our setback is always a set up. Don't worry about the setback. It's always going to be a set up. We don't know what God is up to, but He was he's always up to something in our lives. So God bless each and every one of you. And I thank, thank Pastor Trey again for this opportunity. But I yeah. thought it was just fitting for me to just come on, introduce myself, and let you all know who I am and what I actually stand for and how I actually got started. And there's a small word I have to say to all 17 of you are viewing. There is about 16 of the 17 that have the gift of an author in you and truly there's a story that you have to tell but you are scared you're afraid to step out on day because you're like oh what? how can i do it and i think it might be too difficult no you can be an author you can be an author you can get a book published you can there's somebody that actually wants to read your life story and some of y'all don't have to necessarily get a paper one you can get an audio book established and the audio book and people will sit there and listen to your story so there's some people that are afraid to step out on faith and i'm here to for more information on today's spotlight church Visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.